Hey, Geppetto, Loki, Mad Kata, or Beauty? Hmm. What do you think? I'd say out of these, hmm, they're all more or less average. I'd say Beauty is probably below the others here. Just my gut feeling. Um, and perhaps Geppetto as well. Because Loki and Mad Kata seem more universal. Beauty's hero power doesn't always help. But Mad Kata and Loki are pretty much the most stable, I guess. I'll take Loki. I'm kind of fond of uh, trying to get a big advantage early game. Um, that's not quite what we, were, what we were looking for. That's about as bad as it gets. But perhaps he'll make it up to us next round with uh, some uh, roll the dice or something. Now, do I roll or do I just take the dragon? The dragon's okay. I think I'll just take the dragon. It's more stable. Hmm, now that's an interesting one. I could take Cinderella plus with its familiar next round. That's interesting. Uh, assuming we don't roll, because this is called summoning the free roll. If you look with Loki, especially early game when there are a few spells. On the other hand, like I said, you have to make it up to us, Loki. Oh, that's... Are you going to kill me playing Forbidden Fruit every round? Not that I'm complaining about this round, but the last round was definitely uncalled for. Oh well. So it's the Headless Horseman. He's going to try and steal something of mine, I'd say. At this point he has two characters rather than three, but it should be enough to at least guarantee killing one of mine, which means it's a decent time, especially since early game having an additional character does so much for you. It's interesting that we have yet to lose a round and yet we are not quite last place, actually the fate is last place, interesting. Well yes, it makes sense. He hit himself for two and then uh, lost the next three additional. You're not getting to make that uh, for glory. That's a bit of a strange thing to me. I get. I suppose I can understand if you have the extra mana. I mean, money. Then why not? Um, I just take everything, honestly. And we have a full board, while everybody else has four characters. <laughs> That's crazy. Not that these characters are amazing in terms of their. Uh, individual power, but uh, it's better to have a 2 6 than a 2 5. Maybe if they have a frog or something. I suppose 6 survives against a 2 and then a 3. And that's a thing. That's right. Hmm. Silva. I'm going to want this guy to disappear quite early. If possible, if at all possible. It's so annoying to fight against in the late game. Hey man, the Horde Dragon as well. The Horde Dragon doesn't even have to reach late game to be super annoying. Hmm. But then again, Horde Dragon might not find any artifacts and then he's a known issue. So, what are we taking from this little place? Obviously, Blind Mouse is good with Loki if you can get artifacts for 4 gold. Every round, no downside on Loki. That's amazing. Uh, the rest of them, not quite as good for us. We don't particularly want level 3 artifacts because Fallen Hat don't do anything, if you remember. Uh, there is a princess to make only prince work. I suppose that's what I'm taking, huh? Uh, princess and Blind Mouse. Mm, I could also roll, but then I could also end up with nothing. So, hmm. Perhaps the Blind Mouse is a bit greedy. Perhaps. No, I think I'll take it. It's fine. Fighting against the fates, I wonder what they have. Hmm. Wait, it's obvious that the frog should be buffed. Ah, I didn't get it. Oh well. Thanks for the spell, I suppose. Not a hundred percent sure it helped, but. Can somebody hit that annoying archer? Of course not. Of course not. That thing attacked three times. And it's the first character. For pity's sake. Never mind, never mind. Let's take this familiar. We might combine them and then uh, it'll be a decent mid game character. We also very much want this good witch. She's excellent for us. 
Um, that's about where it is. And do we want to buy a polywoggle? I think we do. I really think we do. So we'll buy the polywoggle and that'll be that. No, it's better to have the two here. If he dies uh, more easily than the four, then the Princess Peep might get another sheep. May as well, right? So, I can always sell the black cat, it's not particularly helpful right now. The rest of them I kinda want to keep, but not really, because next round Cinderella is going to finish her quest and then she can be sold. Hmm. Let's see if we can't find more uh, blind mice or polywoggles. Those are very nice to upgrade. Other than that, we just want to get a bigger board, because our characters are a bit weak. Oh, unfortunate. Also unfortunate, if that stag was hit... Hmm. Well, that's very unfortunate. I'd have liked the sheep to... You know, actually do work. Uh, 50-50, okay. Another 50-50, hmm, nice. And what do we want? Um, Crown of Atlas is actually not terrible for us. I believe we'll take it. Then I'm going to sell this black cat, get a polywoggle, sell this to Cinderella, get another good witch. Um, I'd really like this. Stag. The stag is nice. Hmm, do I take the stag? I'd have to sell, what, the dragon? I think the attack's not very meaningful right now. So sure, I'll do it. The stag is very nice. Um, let's see, let's see. I think this is okay. I, I really do. Hmm. And let's see, another mouse. That's nice. What am I selling for the mouse? I guess I'll sell this baby root. It's fine. I'll set baby root and buy another blind mouse. And then we'll see. We are currently above average in terms of strength. This falling stars might also wreck his plans. We'll see. Sometimes people have a bunch of uh, one health characters roaming around. Even this late. Yeah, that's too often. That's a bit... Oh, I suppose it's fine. We have uh, creature spawns as well. Just the fact that he had a big sheep doesn't really matter. We have a bunch of big sheep. Definitely above average in terms of power. Hit this guy for 9. Quite satisfactory, right? Oh. Well, I guess. If you don't want me to have a blind mouse, what can I do? Oh yes, we're totally taking Melon's hat. Actually, sarcophagus is such an amazing item, I'm almost tempted despite everything being good. But no, we're taking fancy pants. Um, this bearded vulture, and considering everything is an animal, is quite nice. There's also this hungry hippo that we could have actually uh, prioritized over this bearded vulture. I wonder if that would have been um, more worthwhile. We only have a princess peep to really spawn things, so it's not amazing. I mean, the vulture benefits from animals dying, so... Animals don't spawn, other animals are still doing work. Whereas um, this hippo doesn't. Hmm. Should I stick around for another for the hippo? I'm not sure. I could always sell the blind mouse into polywoggle and buy the hippo. Should I do that? Eesh, I don't think so. I don't want to commit that hard on animals. I think I'd much rather try for an upgraded polywoggle and uh, then get an upgraded six and see what happens. I don't want to commit to animals that hard. I only have one princess, but if I had two, I would have taken it. Hmm, Dooza. And that's a pretty bad target for me, although it was 50-50, honestly. Well, the stag having a bunch of health definitely helped. Um, I need to hit the 7-5 range to guarantee a victory, yeah. I think I would have won anyway, but it could definitely have done a lot more. Uh, no, we're not upgrading baby root. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. That's pretty decent. Um, I think we're just skipping, right? We don't have evil, three and lower. Eh, not that important. And dragon's nest, we don't have a single dragon. So, I'd say I'd skip. I'd rather take the gold. 
Now, in this position, do we want Lady of the Lake? Not that much. Sure, she is good, but it's not like there's any synergy with everything being good. And 5 health on uh, spawn, little spawns or mm, even those guys. It's not that amazing. I'd rather keep looking. Now, this is more interesting. A 5 attack, definitely good on her uh, little sheep. On the other hand, they get 4-6 already. It's not that much of a difference. Then again, what am I even looking for, considering... I mean, apart from more build the Vulture, maybe upgrading the Stag if it happens. Um, Poliwoggle? Hmm... Should I now take this Hungry Hippo? It's a bit... so-so. I guess... I guess... oh. No... You can't take that one away from me. <laughs> Hmm, Princess Peep. Don't mind if I do, actually. We'll take her. Replace this frog, uh, frog prince with her. It's fine. Yeah, no buff for you. That's nice. Luck has been on my side this round. I also get full value from the sheep. So this is a 15-14 already. It's not bad. I definitely don't mind having it here. That's a mighty big spawn from Donkey. But now the, the only thing that's left is the range, so... <clears throat> that's... It was very unfortunate for me. Of course I can't get it. Every time I lock, every time I lock, you swap my characters around. Loki has been very mischievous today. Now there is a burning tree here. We could look to go trees. Honestly? I don't feel as though it's worth it to come into trees just yet. 5 gold at this level is quite a bit. If we can get a polywoggle and a grim soul or a blind mouse, we can make things work for us very much. Um, not these guys though. Hmm. Really not seeing anything I'd want. Hmm. Do you ever take this hungry hippo? And um, replace this frog prince with it. I think so. Huh. I am getting slightly paranoid. Am I saying to Poliwoggle for this blind mouse? No, surely not. Surely it won't happen at fourth time in a row or something. Now you will let me take this uh, blind mouse, right? I mean, I'm not crazy. This is actually exceedingly unlikely. Seventeen eight. That thing hits hard. Oh. If you just hit the range, it's going to be much easier. Oh well, it's die. That eye is fine with me. Okay, shooting stars does not, in fact, scramble our choices here. Uh, Forking Rods uses for us through Duplicator is interesting, I suppose. Uh, better than Six of Shields in our position. We'll take it. Hmm. So, let's see if we can't get Polywoggle. That's quite a bit of Baba Yaga. We don't have any setup for it whatsoever. Hmm. Wizard and Arthur. Another nice piece together. Mmm, no, no, no. Okay, Polywoggle. Now, if only we can find a Grim Soul. Do I want anything here? Not really, I'll skip. Um, that's an animal, but it doesn't necessarily spawn an animal. So we can skip it. Oh, there's another one. Um, do we actually want Time Flies? Do we want Time Flies or a uh, Nyan? Or do we just keep rolling? I guess we're not committed to animals, we just want a Grimsaw. Hmm, I suppose, I suppose. Huh. Well, Princess Peep. Might want to replace this stag with Princess Peep. We have two of these uh, hippos. No, I think I'll do that and then just keep rolling for a uh, Grimsaw. That's annoying. I mean, his stuff is really big. 
not too bad if all he gets is a sheep. If this didn't hit the tree, that would have been quite a disaster. Ah, uh, but now the sheep don't do much. Oh, well, it's not much of a loss. Don't, yeah, don't steal a vulture. That would be bad. Well, we managed to win, despite the fact that it was uh, a bit close there. But we're still out of the way in the dragon being on the bottom of the list as well. Yeah, it's far more likely we'll make it. Um, let's see. Hmm, bear is nice for this sort of thing. Should we take the bear? I mean, it's not happening with the Grim Soul now, is it? Fine, we'll take the bear. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, we'll take the bear and we will place it here. This way, there's much less competition for uh, open slots. Uh, honestly, might not even get much use out of this Princess Peep. Considering, I mean, if the bear manages to die after there is one open slot, then it'll spawn two uh, papa bears. Which is quite good for us, each spawning another mama bear afterwards, because of uh, Reduplicator. So I'm not too fast about taking out the princess peep in, this, in these conditions. I'm really sad about the polywoggle though. I've been saving that on up for a while. Not exactly the target I needed the rotten apple on. See this 58 health minion. Yeah, that's crazy. Ouch. Um. Okay, at least another thing is dead. Can you hit the ranged, please? The ranged. Now you hit the ranged. Uh. Oh wait, no, I needed the other one. <laughs> That's. Uh, I thought it would survive. Oh, that was a bit unfortunate. Um, Grim Soul, please. No, if not Grim Soul. Then at least another bear or something. I don't know that I need another vulture at this point. It's a bit late to try and triple them, and otherwise it's not good. Um. Okay, here's another bear. Another bear is perfectly fine. Better than her, anyway. So, at this point in the game, Polywoggle is completely irrelevant. We are quite ready for... Um, if we can find a Bursting. Because the, the bears, I think, are the best animal for Bursting. So much better than uh, three big pigs in terms of consistency. You just want a bunch of them if you could ha uh, help it to frontline for you. Then you'd have Bursting or two down, preferably two, even if one of them is upgraded. And uh, maybe a uh, Echo Wood and just a bunch of uh, bears up front. Maybe you can have one big pigs that you put in a croc or something, that's also fine. But yeah, that's about as sticky a board as it gets. Hmm. Can you leave the poor hippos alone? Just for a few more rounds. I mean, everything's alive, so you should have ample targets. Good, the hippo did as much as it possibly could have. No, oh, that means you're dead. If it attacked, it, it had a 1 in 32 hit the good witch and survive. But it, that such did not happen, a shame for him, good for me, uh, dragon's a bit tough. We're fighting Merlin again, fought him a while ago. Uh, there is an Ashwood Elm. I think you take the first that you can get. Uh, you don't think too much about, oh I have this or that. You just take the first that you can get. <laughs> I say that and then here's the Bursting. Um, since we are already here, I will in fact take the Bursting. I think I'm replacing this Bearded Vulture with it. Far more relevant. Now the question is, um, how good are the let's say hippos and such, the familiar, how good are they as compared to just sheep? Because the sheep are going to be quite big, especially if they can land here, although it's highly unlikely now that I think about it. Uh, it might be better not to put the princess pip in, 
because where would this, the sheep even spawn? Unless I put her here, that's a possibility. But then again, the three sheep will probably spawn in this pattern, and then, hmm, not that good, right? Each sheep being uh, plus three and then double, so four, it's going to be eight. It's not that amazing. I'd rather have 14, 43, right? I think so. Still, we're doing quite well for ourselves. And buying the Ashwood down is not too bad because it completely negates it from uh, other people getting it. Ah, no, that's a tad unfortunate. The size of these minions is kind of bonkers. Oh well, we did get some value. And they're not too small, my own minions. Ah, I definitely lost this one, no questions asked. The wizard did too much work, it hit so many times. Oh, that's the kind of thing we, we're definitely looking for. I suppose I'll take it. Level 5 artifact, let's see. Uh, double support bonuses or Ambrosia? I think Ambrosia, right? Ambrosia is better, because we will always need to upgrade something, a bursting, an echo with something. So, at least for now, it's great. I'll take it. <coughs> mm. So, now in this position, I kind of want another sheep, honestly. And I guess I'll put it instead of one of these guys. I think it's fine. It would be better if I could... Mm, combine the hippos. If I can combine the hippos and then put them in a croc, that would be very nice. Because the combined hippos would have uh, not only way more attack, so that it would actually be relevant, but uh, after putting it in a croc, it would be multiplied by bursting, and then it would be quite a decent character. Hmm. We also very much want to find more bursting and more um, echo wood, because not only do we need their sheer. Uh, increased stats, it's just getting another uh, level 6 artifact, singing swords. It's what makes animals able to compete with trees. You need so much damage to deal with those tremendous um, burning trees and echo woods. So, although you do have quite big echo woods of your own if you can get your strategy rolling, but still, very much would like to. Hmm, very much would like to get. Uh, Level 6 artifact for, to try for Singing Swords. Singing Swords is quite nice. Uh, another bear, don't mind if I do, I'm very happy with that. I'm not minding the other Ashwood Elm just to mess with other players. I will keep the one I have on me. Ah, that's something I wanted, so it's nice. Uh, summoning Portal is quite nice. Do we need everything to be good? Not really, we haven't seen a single good boy. So we'll get rid of this crown and have Summoning Portal in. Okay. They're not doing badly. Uh, is it time to replace this familiar with just one of those... Uh, like so. I'm thinking about it because uh, I think it'll buff the Echo with more than their familiars worth. I mean, even if it only spawns, let's say, one or two sheep, I, I think it's far more likely to spawn one, actually. It might even be bad to have it because the bears spawn another bear. Hmm. Now that I think about it, and this thing is too tough to die easily, so I guess this is fine, honestly. To be frank, the amount of stats I'll get, especially with the uh, summoning portal, is much higher. Ah, fine, let's try it. I don't know, it might not be good, but ah, let's try it. Even if it just spawns one sheep, it might be fine. Hmm. Why that one? Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. A bit. It could have survived. Oh, wow. That's a really large... Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He just already has trees, and now you gave him Nashu Down that's upgraded. Huh. That's so sad. Never mind. We'll try to still win this.
Yeah, that's quite a bit of damage. I think I'm fighting Melly now. Oh, Melly died. So it's just me and him, but now he has the Ashru down. It's going to be hard. Suppose I could take three big pigs instead of this Princess Peep to have a better time. Um, hmm. Should I? <laughs> Should I do it? I mean, I probably shouldn't. Level 3 artifact's not that impactful and uh, I don't even want to place it in right now, honestly. So that's, that's that. Huh, I should think about getting rid of this witch. No, the amount of stats it loses is too high, right? Uh, 4, 6 tripled on everything. Mm. On the other hand, I could just have uh, and this three big pigs go down and then have the familiar, so the familiar can die and I'll spawn two bears, that's something. Hmm, not sure. I mean, she's not doing that much. I'll roll anyway, didn't think I'd get anything. Um, I think, yeah, I think things are bad as they stand. So this something like this might be better. Okay, that's excellent. Good. I want this guy to die before the good boy die, if possible. Excellent. That dies, maybe? Ah, oh, perfect. Huh, that's quite good luck. Oh, another good boy. Are you kidding me? He finds another good boy from the donkey. Really. And the good boy dies before the other two. That's worst case scenario. Ah oh, well, I almost kill him anyway. Well, to be fair, the worst case scenario that I said was uh, after a lot of good stuff happened. Uh, okay, Evelo does nothing. Share Bear does little. Pied Piper? I suppose we'll take Pied Piper. I'm fine with this. Now Grim Soul comes. <laughs> uh, I can take a good boy myself. The thing about it is I don't have time to buff it at all. So I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I also have uh, three big pigs. Should I take a second three big pigs? It's a bit... much. I mean, theoretically if I roll another three big pigs within one or two then it's going to be great, but in any other situation it's not as good as just finding another baby bear or something like that. Um, or bursting. Or an echo wood. No, an echo wood might not be as good. Mm, let me think, let me think. Should I take it because it came? I guess. And here it is. Singing Sword. Singing Sword is amazing here. It's exactly what we were looking for. I think now we are almost guaranteed to win. I, I say that and then it's going to go to heck, but we are going to do much better with Singing. Oh, this is so bad. I suppose it could have been worse, it could have been the best thing, but it's still so bad. So much of my stats are tied up in that upgraded bear. Oh, never mind. Since the pigs died first, before the bursting and the echo wood, I have an insanely large echo wood now, and even though we weren't quite as much more powerful than him as I thought, we still had a decent advantage here. Singing sorts is amazing with animals. And that's how you beat um, Good Boy with with animals. I suppose good boy trees. Still, it can work, especially if you can find beauty's influence for your rash without. Anyway, uh, there you go. First place with animals. Thanks for watching. You can like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you next time.